Well, welcome to another week of the vlog. Um, we got kind of a surprise thunderstorm last night, which I guess is okay. I sprinkled spicy pepper all over the sunflowers because we weren't supposed to have rain for a week or two because the deer were eating all of them. So there's a couple of them up there that are completely stripped of leaves. So that got washed off, but I'm glad that I don't have to water today. So uh, the garden has exploded in growth. Let's let's go take a look. So the I think these were my first to set. These pear tomatoes here. They're not ripening yet. They're at that green stage where you're just sort of waiting and waiting and waiting. I've got all sorts of peas. I've been picking them on the daily. It's pretty exciting. So far I've been just kind of eating them for breakfast or I put a couple of them in the freezer for when I go make some sort of nice veggie soup. This seems to be some sort of plum tomato. It must have been in that mixed colors pack. Um, I pulled up that bok choy and planted little basil where there's little seedlings there. Here are those Orange melons, the rain, well, the rainstorm last night didn't knock this thing over, the the white blooms here on that green, but it did knock that bok choy over, so I sort of flipped it back on the other side. I mean, if these things reseed themselves here, it's okay, because that just means there's more food sprouting for maybe the fall, depending on when the seeds come together. So. I've got itty bitty cucumbers, and uh, did I say these are those orange melons? Here are the honeymoon melons, and then the patty pan squash. Two of them are taking off, two of them look kind of sad, I'm not sure why. Ooh. I'm starting to have little beans, so exciting. Here's the um, Bull door melon. It started blooming. They're all male blooms so far, right? Because it's a little bit of a baby plant still. But I'm excited. Oh. So, this one's the butternut squash. It has really interesting, like, it's not really a bloom, it's like hollow. Hopefully, it has flowers and it produces fruit. I've never grown this before, so I don't know what the flowers are supposed to look like. And these long guys are the um, little sugar pie pumpkins. I may have to move that guy so he doesn't climb up the cage. We'll see. Uh, peppers. Still don't know what I'm doing. Hopefully they're okay. More tomato. This one hasn't actually set any fruit yet. So I don't know what it is. But it does look like a healthy tree of a plant. So come on buddy. Make me some food. And then I planted some more kinds of basil here. One of these is cinnamon basil. The little seedlings down there. The other one is uh, the fresh basil. So I might actually have some blooms on these peppers here. These ones are the poblanos. These beans? I don't know. Oh, they are starting to set. So here's the cherry tomato. So look at this. There's like... 12 blooms or something on that. This must be one of those super fruiting ones. I'm excited. I wonder if it's uh, the purple one or something. I've got pumpkin blooms. And the corn is tasseling. Super excited about that. It's a sweet corn. It's either the cassava or hammy melon. I think it's the cassava. Uh, the rain kind of knocked these down. I might go through and trim the leaves, I might not. I've definitely started getting zucchinis. I harvested two of them already a day or two ago. Um, I just put them in the freezer because I wasn't ready to eat them yet. This is lemongrass in here. I haven't, this isn't me being remiss about weeding. This is all that lemongrass that I planted. So the leaves got knocked down, but at least everything, ooh, a bee, but at least everything um, is getting more light in the understory, which is good. 
So I sprayed for squash vine borer because I saw it flying around. Here's the hammy melon, also kind of got some blooms. Those little seedlings over there, I planted some more carrots. Here's the dill, finally growing. Ground cherries, jalapeno peppers. That, the one big one is doing good. The rest of them kind of aren't. Here's another tomato. I think I just have like lots of pear tomatoes. I guess they look good to me when they're seedlings. Uh, here's the carrots that I planted earlier. Here's some beets. I planted more beets in here because it was looking kind of bare. I just kind of seeded them here and there. Um, moon and stars melon. I am so excited about this. Like, just seeing watermelon leaves gets me happy. Another tomato. So these black bags here, I finally planted up the, the purple potatoes that sprouted my second batch because the first one's completely rotted out. This time I waited even longer so the sprouts looked even bigger because um, I don't know why they rotted before. I was sad. So I'm trying harder this time. Sad looking jalapenos. So this sunflower is, I think it's from the pack that they were all supposed to be like 6 to 12 feet tall. It looks like it wants to, wow, bloom with multiple heads. And it's only, I want to say, like three feet tall. I mean, I'm not sad. It'll attract some pollinators. I'll probably get some seeds out of it, but still, you know. I'm guessing this was the mammoth. So, I don't know why this pepper is doing well and the rest of them aren't. That is kind of a new variety for the store where I bought it from. It's uh, Digito jalapeno. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just not a good grower. Uh, I guess I've been kind of bad about watering the strawberries because they end up looking a little crispy at the end of the day. I've been trying to get on it, but you know my problem is overwatering, so I don't want to overwater. So, um, so I planted a little bit more eggplant too. So far, just baby leaves because um, the original eggplant that I planted looks crappy. Parsley, finally sort of growing. Um, the little, the little guy on the left, the onions that I had planted here, re-sprouted. I'm glad they had a little bit of a bulb. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. They're definitely not growing well. I don't think I'm going to get onions out of them. Final. I, I took one, as you can see, I took one, one bulb of it because it looked like it was going to bolt. And it was pretty good I roasted it. Uh, the leaves were a little bit tough, but whatever, just a little bit more chewing. Um, the caterpillar that I had had on there, I couldn't find where the cocoon was. And then about a week later I found wings. I'm sad that it got eaten. I don't know how it got eaten. Maybe that toad is still in here. Who knows. Um, there we go. Once again, pear. I hope some of these are the red ones. I want some red tomatoes, <laughs> despite the fact that I didn't really plant red tomatoes this year. Oops. But I'm excited to have rainbow colored tomatoes still. So, uh, the difference between the female flower and I think this one's male. Yeah, male. So the female flowers have a little bit more business going on on them. So. Oh my god, look. My first female pumpkin flower. I'm so excited. I hope the bees have been pollinating her. I'm excited to have pumpkins. This is one of those medium sized pumpkins. And it's got those, those nice things everywhere. So, hopefully, I have some nice pumpkins this year. This thing is just taking off. It's, it's a good 10 feet long now. There's the original potatoes that I had planted. So, sugar apple tree, cinnamon tree, I think the mango died. Here's the pitchers. Uh, Venus fly traps are blooming. I've been pollinating them and feeding them whenever I catch some bugs on me here. 
Um, I'm hoping to sprout some seed again this year. I do not know why that Lupophila looks like it's trying to die. I really hope it doesn't die. And this is just one of those, like, mid-season diebacks and not completely dieback. Mmm, coffee. So, I don't know if it's Bonata or Multifida or what. Sometimes it has really strange looking leaves, so I always... I got it unlabeled as a just generic carnivorous plant at some random plant shop in San Fran, I want to say at least a decade ago, so I don't really know what it is. It probably came from a uh, D-Motto shop. So, that one's blooming. It's got at least 10 stalks on it. I don't ever see any uh, pollinators buzzing around on it, so I've been kind of hand pollinating it. I don't, I don't know if I want to plant the seeds or not. So, here's the mint. This is no longer the horseradish pot, it's definitely the mint pot, because the horseradish never came up. Um, what else is noteworthy? Yeah, maybe I'll go through and trim those leaves. A lot of the nasturtiums, like, there's one in there. It's not doing too well, because it wasn't really getting a lot of sun. But this one is kind of doing better. A lot of the nasturtiums, despite the fact that it's a dwarf for variety, they really didn't like they're super extra drawer because I expect the regular ones to have like you know two foot tall leaves and be a horrible vine but these ones are only like three inches tall so that's the garden the rhubarb is doing okay after the deer munched on a couple of their leaves hopefully they got a good stomach ache um I mowed the yard, did the edging, sprayed a couple more poison ivy plants, um, let's turn this around, sprayed a couple more of the poison ivy plants that I had found because it's the surprise that keeps on giving. Um, I kind of watered things yesterday morning before I was sure that it would rain or not just to get some water on it all. Um, and potting up those potatoes. Somehow that all ended up taking like 15 hours this weekend. It was a it was a busy weekend. I think just doing the edging around the sunflowers takes a while. Because I did it around all of the fences. I found a little baby turtle. It was all of maybe two inches across. He was upside down when I found him. So I kind of checked his little head and feet poking out from inside of his shell. Because he was tucked in to make sure I hadn't caught him with my sickle. He was okay. So I put him down, I did a little bit more work, I went to go find him to see if I could take a picture, and he had disappeared. I guess the turtles here move fast. Um, so that's about it for this week. I am excited by how the garden is working out. I'm, maybe I'll make me a nice minestrone out of the zucchini and any other good veggies that I find around here. Okay, back to my coffee.